Ciao ragazzi, bentornati nel nostro canale. Oggi finalmente inizieremo a conoscere la Turchia anche al di fuori della musica e delle canzoni che ormai uh, abbiamo ascoltato più di una volta e ci piacciono tantissimo. Però ormai la Turchia ci sta interessando moltissimo anche come pa paese, soprattutto dopo aver fatto la reazione ad alcune canzoni un po' più politiche che ci hanno mostrato vari aspetti appunto di, de, della Turchia. Quindi oggi iniziamo da un video che crediamo sia un po', un po soft, però che ci, ci darà magari qualche spunto, ed è 15 things you didn't know about Turkey. Quindi adesso vediamo cosa non sappiamo della Turchia. Esatto. Oltre a tutto quello che non sappiamo. Esatto. <ride> Poi voi ci direte se, se sono, se sono vere queste no. cose, se oppure sono luoghi comuni. E intanto iniziamo a guardare. Fifteen things you didn't know about Turkey. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. Today we're exploring the beautiful Turkey, one of the few transcontinental countries. Turkey spans both Asia and Europe, inhabited since the Paleolithic era. Turkey has been taken over by various civilizations, including Assyrians, Greeks, and the Armenians. From the 14th century to the early 20th, Turkey experienced war after war. Its current political station is turbulent, too. What can we learn about this diverse country that's forever in the headlines? Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most interesting destinations in the world. We wanted to show you 15 things you didn't know about Turkey. Number one, Turkey is home to two of the seven wonders of wow. the ancient world. We often assume that the ancient wonders will mainly be in Egypt and Greece, but Turkey has its fair share. The Temple of Artemis is dedicated to the Greek goddess of hunting and childbirth, also known as Diana in ancient Rome. Okay. The temple wow. is located near the ancient city of Ephesus, which is now on the edge of Selkuk and understandably in ruins. The mausoleum of Halicarnassus was a burial chamber built in 353 BC and was carved by four Greek sculptors. Its ruins can be seen in a modern day Bodrum. Number two, a soup before a meal is very common, even before breakfast. No matter what time of day it is, Turks love soup. Breakfast is a very important meal, often consisting of meats, cheeses, and breads, but it's always begun with soup. During winter months, soup will begin all meals and is served with rice, bulgur, wheat, or yogurt. Oh. Summertime generally involves cold vegetables with olive oil as a starter. Other Turkish customs <laughs> include <laughs> 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 food not leave the table until their guest has finished, and it's absolutely fine to belch in rural areas. Number three. Santa Claus was technically no. born in Turkey. <laughs> Saint okay. a Christian saint and ah, the origin okay. of Santa Claus, uh, was born in modern-day Demre, Turkey. At the time, this was a part of the Roman Empire, and Saint Nick was a bishop of great significance. He is suggested to have brought three murdered boys back from the dead with his prayers, magically doubled a ship's cargo of wheat, and became known for gift-giving in the modern world. Number four, Turkey has the highest number of Facebook users in the world okay. when compared to their online population. <laughs> Turkey has yeah. just under 300 Facebook. million Facebook users, which is especially impressive when you consider that just 58% of the population is online. online audiences in the world, partly because the population is especially youthful with over 50% of people under 30 years old. Ah, wow, that's wow. interesting. Here in Italy, for me, it's the opposite. We might be served chicken breast pudding when traveling in Turkey. A popular Turkish dessert is the bizarre-sounding chicken breast pudding. Oh, my God. No, you haven't tried it. It was commonly served to sultans when Turkey was a part of the Ottoman Empire, ah. which would have been a great honor. If you find it on your plate, it would be a good idea to try it. Smile and nod so you don't offend anyone. <laughs> Number six. Leonardo da Vinci planned a bridge that ran over the Bosphorus, but it was never built. Non lo sapevo questa. Plans for da Vinci's bridge were discovered in the 1950s, 
showing that the famous artist and inventor submitted plans for a bridge which linked Asia and Europe in 1503. The bridge was going to be built between Pera and what was then Constantinople. And it's unknown why the plans were never put into action. However, we do know that the Sultan at the time was offered a windmill and a water pump by Da Vinci and he gladly accepted. Oh. Yeah. Number 7. Turkey is home to 13 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Wow. Turkey's beaches wow. are some of the most Look beautiful in the world, yeah. but it's not just the beaches that are protected sites. Turkey is home to stunning hot springs, Stupendo. some of the most remarkable mosques and religious sites, and Look national that. parks full of history. The country's significance in the ancient world means that there are many Greek and Roman ruins to see mm -hmm. too, okay. with some dating back to 129 BC. Find out about some of the most expensive man-made attractions in our video. Can you guess which is number one? Number eight. Many Turkish people didn't have surnames until 1934. Oh, no, no, no. The surname law was introduced in 1934, requiring all Turkish citizens to have a surname. Before well, this, people would take their father's name as Hassanah or Ogden. Since 1934, citizens have used a similar system to many other countries, where children take their father's surname. As of 2013, the most common surname in the country was Yilmaz. Number nine. More journalists are imprisoned in mm. Turkey than anywhere else in the world. With many being killed for their careers, but Turkey has the highest number of imprisoned journalists in the world. The majority have been jailed for their support of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, mm. charged with an anti-terror law. The government puts a lot of pressure on the media to dismiss journalists who are critical of them, so many journalists have chosen to self-censor in order to avoid prosecution. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Part of Turkey's coastline was given to Cleopatra as a gift. When Mark Antony and Cleopatra got married, he gave her what is now Alanya, in the south of Turkey, in a bid to impress her. <laughs> Cleopatra Beach is one of the most stunning in Turkey, and Cleopatra <laughs> Island off its coast is a true gem. <laughs> the Queen of Egypt herself thought it was her paradise, and now you can travel there by boat. <laughs> Number 11. The fifth most expensive house in the world is on the coast of Istanbul. Decorated in a classic style with an appropriately east meets west decor, this $115 million estate has its own 200 foot quay. Measuring 30,000 square feet in total, this waterfront estate has 64 rooms and is heated out with gold sinks and crystal chandeliers. The mansion was designed by Alexandre Valere in the mid-19th century for one of Sultan Abdulhamid II's ministers, and now it's on the market. <laughs> one of Istanbul's most expensive restaurants only accepts cash. Not Restaurant is a 360-degree restaurant in Istanbul that offers a stunning view of the surrounding areas. They serve traditional Turkish and Ottoman food in a modern, minimalist setting, but there's no point in bringing your American Express as they only accept cash. This is common in Turkish restaurants, no matter how luxurious, so all tourists should remember to carry this. Number 13. Turks are very patriotic. The Turkish flag has religious and national significance, so it's displayed everywhere with pride. Sales of Turkish flags actually soared after the failed military coup in July 2016, with 1.5 million sold on day one as the show of loyalty to the country and the government. Turkey has a high turnout for elections, with 85% voting in the last election, showing that the population is particularly invested in the country and how it moves forward. Number 14. The women of Turkey won the right to vote before most European countries. It's easy for us to assume that a predominantly Muslim country would be slow on the uptake when it comes to equal rights for women, but that's not necessarily the case. Women in Turkey won the right to vote in 1930 before France, Portugal, Belgium, Greece, and Switzerland. The most recent country to introduce equal voting rights was Saudi Arabia, 85 years after Turkey. Number 15. Troy wasn't in Greece. It was actually in Turkey. 
the famous oh, yeah. ancient city of yeah. Troy, where was Helen was taken so after her kidnapping, mm -hmm. and the big wooden horse was created. She is believed to have existed in Turkey. Located in what is known as Asia Minor, the European parts of Turkey, some of the walls of the city's Acropolis, can still be seen. For many years, people thought Troy was entirely fictional, but these ruins seem to prove exactly where it stood. We are all used to reading about Turkey, but it's mainly shrouded in negative news stories. What's actually evident to anyone who's visited the country is that it's a stunning, diverse place with a really rich history. It has as much ancient significance as Greece and Egypt, and its scenery makes it one of the jewels of the world. There's so much we don't know about it, so maybe it's time to explore. Bella. If you could take a trip to this amazing country, what would be your first stop? Would you take a tour of every monument and site and explore the ancient world? Or would you look around the country's modern streets and meet the patriotic people of Turkey? Sarebbe bello andare in Turchia. Mm -mm. Ma noi in realtà ne abbiamo parlato tra di noi e è una, è una delle mete che ci piacerebbe comunque visitare, visitare sì, a stretto giro. E per rispondere alla domanda del video, per esempio, a me piacerebbe andare a vedere tutti i siti, o almeno il più possibile, ehm, quelli che ha citati dell'UNESCO mm -hmm. e anche le donne del mondo. mondo. Sì, comunque mi affascina un sacco la storia antica. E le, e le spiagge, <ride> non sapevo, <ride> però nell'ordine inverso le spiagge, <ride> la storia antica, però tutta e poi uno dei miei sogni più grandi delle mete su cui voglio in cui voglio assolutamente andare è la Cappadocia, ah, a me beh. piacerebbe tantissimo, magari è una fazionata, non lo so se effettivamente, eh, non lo so. però secondo però me deve essere un posto, è... cioè, stupendo, sì, 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 quindi la Turchia è uno dei paesi nella mia al top della mia lista dei, dei io viaggi io potrei vedere è... tantissimo Istanbul anche me... Istanbul mi ha sempre ispirato sì. un sacco e i mercati delle spezie anche mi piacerebbe sì. un sacco andare. sì perché Istanbul poi nel, almeno nell'immaginario adesso immagino sia così poi fatecelo sapere ma nell'immaginario de, delle persone italiane o europee uh, è proprio un insieme di culture Assurdo, nel senso che è una città antichissima e si trova sì, proprio in un paese che è effettivamente nel centro di varie culture molto diverse tra loro. Quindi deve essere proprio un mix, un mix pazzesco che mi piacerebbe tantissimo vedere. A te, ma speriamo. Io spero che a breve potremo fare una video reaction direttamente dalla Turchia. Esatto. Teniamo le dita incrociate. <ride> Noi che reagiamo alle spiagge, <ride> a Cappadocia, a Istanbul. Sarebbe bello. Sarebbe bello. Vi facciamo sapere. Esatto. Intanto sì. grazie per averci guardato e ci vediamo nei prossimi video. Ciao, Ciao. ragazzi.